wow. So this is it. This is a proper moment in time, at least for this channel. It is the series finale of the best Nova launcher setups. Let me explain. So before we get onto the setups for today's series finale, if you've been following me over on Twitter, then you would no doubt be aware that I'm actually ending this series in its current format. Now, don't panic because I am actually launching a brand new, more universal series that will replace this one, and it is titled The Best Home Screen Setups. Over time, I've realized that this series, as it currently stands, is a little bit too limiting because there are some phenomenal home screen setups out there that I've seen that haven't been included in this series simply because they've used a different launcher to set it up. So that all ends now, but of course we needed one final swan song and this episode is it. 25 episodes in, I thought it had a nice round sounding number to it. So we're gonna finish on a high with a quick fire look at 10 new setups all exclusively using Nova Launcher for the final time. If you are interested in submitting setups to be featured in this brand new series, then make sure you check out the submission video below. But aside from that, let's kick straight into the setups. So first up is Michael's two page setup, a super clean yet vibrant setup that is uniform and visually appealing. So let's take a quick look at the different elements included throughout. That colorful paint style backdrop comes directly from the Unsplash website, link below. And there are also a heap of other backdrops available at that link with a similar design. So definitely check that page out if you like the look of this backdrop in particular. Up the top in the middle there is a customized widget from the Wolfie for KWGT widget pack. It's got lots of helpful information included there, all in a super neat configuration. Below that we have three icons from the flight icon pack, which matches that widget to a T. And then right down the bottom, we have a Google search bar widget from Nova Launcher itself, which is next to a Shazam app icon on the right. Page two is dedicated to a beautifully designed music widget from the Ornit for KWGT widget pack. It's widget 18 to be precise, but that's it for this first setup. Great design and a solid way to start our series finale. This next setup has been sent in by Vishnu. It is another two page setup, a much darker vibe to this one though, but lots going on, so let's take a look. That blue pattern based wallpaper has been sent in directly, again, link below, obviously. And then we've got a range of custom made widgets that Vishnu has made and sent through. And these all make up our main home screen. It's a nicely designed home screen with lots of functionality. And although some customization is required to get those widgets personalized, it is a super rewarding payoff. Over on our next page, we have the month calendar widget up top and a three by three set of nine app icons down the bottom, each of which are using icons from the Naxos Taz icon pack, which appears not to be available on the Play Store anymore. So an APK link has been provided below. A super unique setup by Vishnu. Moving quickly onto setup number three, this one has been sent in by Rahul, another eye-catching design. So let's unpack what we've got going on. So we've got a very minimal backdrop for this setup, just that green city sketch down the bottom, which I love the look of, and then lots of black space up the top. And this comes from the Wally -E wallpaper application, although I have provided a direct link down below as well. Up the top is a single widget pack with lots of information. And this comes from the Fuchsia for KWGT widget pack. It's called Widget A4, and the text has been changed to match the color theme of the rest of the setup. Down below are two rows of app icons. These come from the line bit icon pack. And swiping over to page two, and here we have another set of 15 app icons. Again, all using icons from the line bit icon pack. But no time to spare, on to the next setup. Here's a very minimal setup for you. One page, super neat color coordination and design, and it's been sent in by Shanino. So the backdrop is a custom made wall by Shanino, link below, and it basically consists of a big slab of orange cornered by two black strips. On top of the black strip over on the left is a custom made day and time widget, and this slots over that strip perfectly. And then down towards the bottom, we have six folder icons, each taken from the Zwart icon pack, and each of these are filled to the brim with loads and loads of applications. And then below that is a Nova Launcher Google search bar, and that's it. I love the design, but on to the next setup. So setup number five is a KLWP based setup sent in by Ray. This one has lots of cool elements throughout. So let's take a look at how this setup functions. So as I said, it is a KLWP based setup. And this means that most of the heavy lifting has been done for you, but some minor tweaks are needed here and there within the preset to make it fully work for the device you're using and so that's personalized for you. In the middle is a custom profile picture and signature widget that just serves to set a bit of ownership over the device, which looks quite nice. And then below that, we have some other helpful information as well. 
When you tap on the profile picture though, a set of app icons and shortcuts fade in up the top, and this is quite a nice bit of functionality. If we swipe over to the second page, then five app icons appear below the middle widget, each of which are using icons from the line bit light icon pack, and then down the very bottom is a date and day of the week bar widget, which looks super clean. If you've got music or audio playing, then you can also tap this little icon next to the app icons to open up a music play widget, so lots of cool stuff to experiment with when it comes to using this setup. Coming in at just past the halfway point, this is a super clean one page setup sent in by Thrillock. Love the color coordination on show here, so definitely worth a look. Wallpaper is again a direct file link which makes life very easy for all of us, but it has obviously set up this great red colorway that we see here. On the top of that red sun in the middle is a day and date widget from the Magenta for KWGT widget pack, widget 002 if you're looking for it. However, the colors have been slightly adjusted. Down the bottom, we have just a dock of five application icons. These are all from the One UI pixel icon pack. And then below that is a search bar widget taken from the outline for KWGT widget pack, number 51 to be precise. Although so again, the colors have been adjusted so it fits within the theme. And that is really all there is to the setup. This next setup has been sent in by Nishant. It is a combination of Nova and KLWP based, but it looks and feels very fluid. So let's dive in and take a look. So starting with that wallpaper, Nishant asked politely for me to shout out his friend Ashutosh, who actually shot this backdrop himself, which is great. But then if we take a look up the top, you can see we have three small pieces of information that change depending on which home screen you're on. And this is built into the KLWP file, but Nishant originally had a white triangle icon in the middle there, but I really like how it formed around the notch. So I've left it as is without the triangle. Down the bottom, we have three white rectangle box widgets that do need to be set up independently of the KLWP file. So the first is a page for four app icons, each colorful dot taken from the candy cons icon pack and swiping up on each will open up a folder. The second page has a weather information box and then the third has a music player widget. Each are custom widgets made by Nishant himself, all of which are included down in the notes below. After that, we have a super minimal yet visually impressive one page setup sent in by Calif. This one is super easy to set up, so let's cover it extra quickly. Right, so that wallpaper is from Unsplash directly, link below. And up the top, we have a date and day widget from Huck for KWGT, widget 47 that one is. And it goes nicely with the Google search bar widget down below because that one is also from the Huck for KWGT widget pack, and that is widget 99. In the middle, we have a two by five configuration of app icons, all of which come from the Delta icon pack, and that's it, good stuff. Second to last is yet another dark and minimal one page setup. This one is sent in by a user who goes by the name of Beepin Bits. Another easy to load setup though. So let's take a look at what is inside. Firstly, that backdrop is a super dark city wallpaper that has been sent through directly, which is great. Just enough detail to give the background some texture. But then up the top, we have a time and day widget that comes from the watermelon for KWGT widget pack, widget 003 to be exact. But that red line will need to be customized to match what you're seeing here. Below that, we have five app icons, each using the line bit icon compact which looks great and then finally down the very bottom we have a music player widget taken from the K Music 2 for KWGT widget pack nice setup and last up today and for the series we have one final setup once again KLWP based looks super minimal on the surface but then has some really cool functionality included once you start using it so let's quickly dive in one last time this is just about the easiest setup to load onto your phone, two files with everything done for you. And on the main home screen, we have this almost lock style design with not a lot to it, but a big clock widget in the middle there, some other helpful information below that, and then some app icons and shortcuts as well. But the real fun comes when you tap on either of the icons down the bottom. Tapping on the word menu opens up this really neat side panel to the left with a search bar widget and a bunch of other super visually pleasing and integrated widgets. And tapping on the social contact icon opens up the side panel on the right with shortcuts to a range of popular social media applications. I love the way it works. It's an awesome design, no doubt, and a great way to cap off the series. But that is it. Now, as always, all of the Nova backup files and any other asset needed to get these setups loaded onto your own devices have been included as links down in the notes below, as well as the new series submission video if you wanna have your own setup featured in a future episode of the new series. I have to say there is a somewhat bittersweet feeling to this moment. I am, of course, very excited for the new series, but I do also have a very soft spot for this Nova Launcher series as well. There is every chance that I might do a new episode of this series sometime in the future if I feel like the timing and the setups are right. But for now, that is it for this series. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you see that first episode of the brand new series launching later next month. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.